A boy is in critical condition, another under arrest after a shooting outside a Denver middle school. I'm Britt Marino. Thank you for joining us. Parents had a lot of questions about how DPD notified families about the shooting. The school district held a meeting about the problem. This morning, we expect to hear from them anytime. We are going to start off this afternoon with Tori Mason, who is live at DSST Cole Middle School on Marion Street and 33rd. Tori, how is the community handling all this? Oh, Britt, they're still really shaken up by this whole situation. But school carried on as usual today, but with a lot of added support. We were here this morning when the kids were arriving, and they were all greeted by teachers and administrators at the front door. There are also a lot of police here, too. Really anything to make these students and their families feel safer. Now, students told CBS4 they heard multiple gunshots outside their school yesterday, followed by police sirens. They hid in their classrooms, away from the windows. It was a drill they've all learned, but hoped they would never have to use. They soon learned it was a student who had been shot, the only victim in Tuesday's shooting. Overnight, Denver police arrested a juvenile male in connection with that shooting. He's being held for investigation of aggravated assault. Now, many parents told us they were frustrated with school officials for not alerting them about the shooting right away. And I don't want to hear it from my other daughter calling me or from Facebook or somewhere else. Okay? Yes, we're the yes, parents. Yes. You guys are supposed to protect them while we're here. Yes. Yeah, you have security on the doors, but you still need to keep us parents involved. Yes. Now, according to Denver Public Schools, families are notified when a school goes on lockdown and not lock out because initially the school was on lockout, but when police got here, they changed the status from lockout to lockdown. However, DPS didn't get that update in time to inform the parents before they found out through the kids on social media. We're live in Denver, Tori Mason covering Colorado first. That was confusing for parents yesterday. Tori, thank you for sorting that out. Now, D